welcome to Aloha Jen's Beauty Blog. This is my very first video, so please excuse me if I seem a little nervous. I'll just give you a brief introduction. Um, my name is Jen, ha ha ha. <laughs> um, I'm, a, I'm an esthetician. I've been an esthetician for uh, a little over 10 years now. However, I did retire from the treatment room. I retired back in 2014, so it's been about four years now and I miss it dearly. And that's one of the reasons why I'm creating this YouTube channel. I have had a, a passion for products um, since I was a little girl, and I, I love makeup as well. Um, I'm also a certified personal trainer, so um, I love you know fitness and nutrition and wellness as well, and one of the reasons why I became a, a certified personal trainer is because um, in my philosophy as a holistic esthetician, I believe that your skin health is also internal. It's not only what you put on your, your skin topically, but it's also what you do on the inside of your body as well. So without further ado, let's, let's um, get started with our review. So today what we're going to do is we are going to review Fit Glow Beauty. And the reason why I decided to uh, go with Fit, Blue, or Fit Glow Beauty for my very first review is because it's um, quite popular at the moment because of the Beauty Heroes monthly discovery and also um, their makeup discovery for the month of February, which featured Fit Glow Beauty. But today we are going to talk about the makeup. I'm gonna talk about um, the products that were fe featured in the Beauty Heroes makeup discovery, and then I'm gonna talk about foundation, the Vitaset powder, and a few of their um, blush, color or their uh, cheek colors and their mineral eye colors as well. So let's get started. Okay, so let's talk about first what came in the Beauty Heroes box. If you were lucky to score one, this was such a great deal. It um, sold out in eight hours. So it featured um, a lip cream, a lip serum, and then also the Good Lash Mascara. So the Good Lash Mascara is, look at how beautiful this packaging is, a wonderful product. It is actually um, become my holy grail of mascaras. So here it is. So this product is, it's like a, they call it like a, a lash serum and um, it gives you really good volume it curls your lashes and it's water resistant. I haven't really noticed much lengthening on it, um, but it's it's very buildable. Um, I have just one coat on and that's great. If I want my lashes to look, you know, thicker, sort of kind of get that false lash look, I'll put on like maybe two or three coats. Um, let's check out the brush. So check this out. Now this is a, a dry, this is actually a whipped formula, so it seems kind of dry, but that's the formula. Don't worry, your mascara is not drying out, but look at that brush. Now this brush is so awesome. My only complaint about the brush is it's a little bit too big. So if you have small eyes, you might have a little bit of a hard time um, putting this on. Um, it will take some getting used to, but other than that, it's great. Let me tell you a little bit of the uh, key ingredients here and what they do. So we have vegetable collagen, which conditions and moisturizes the lashes. We have organic horsetail plant, which it strengthens the lashes and promotes lash health. We have organic rice bran wax, which creates, the fle it creates flexibility and conditioning of the lashes and also nourishes them and gives them that full and soft look which we all love. Organic lupin protein. Um, I'm not really familiar with lupin protein. I've never heard of it before, but it contains essential amino acids, which rejuvenate and condition the lashes. It, it's also rich in glutamine and prevents lash breakage and improves lash thickness. Now, I actually um, purchased this before the makeup discovery came out and I've been using it for four weeks. And I do notice that my lashes seem a lot healthier. They seem stronger. Um, and um, I've noticed like some new lash growth in certain areas where I was a little sparse, like a little sparse here on the ends, but now they're starting to come in really 
really nice, but you see how flexible they are? That's so nice. Now, what's cool about this mascara is it like creates like these little capsules over your lashes. So um, it, it's it's really nice and um, it's easy to take off. I you know I take it off with like a cream cleanser at night and it comes off really really easy. Um, so now the next product we're going to talk about is the lip creams. Now I got um, the beet and gospel colors. Um, so beet in the lip cream and gospel in the lip serum. And I'm wearing the beet lipstick. You see it's this really pretty like magenta color. I love it. And I think it would look good on everyone. So look at how cute this packaging is. Isn't that pretty? And look at this. See this button right here? Watch. Bam. Pops right out. And look at that color. Isn't that so pretty? Yeah, pop it back in. So these, this is like the best lipstick I have ever used. Um, it smooths your lips. It stays on for a while. Um, and it doesn't feather. And if you're my age, I'm gonna be 41 in May. And I'm starting to notice like, you know, things like lipstick, it feathers. Oh my gosh, it's so annoying. So let's talk about the key ingredients in the lip cream. So we have vegetable collagen, which helps retain moisture and strengthens the lips. Pomegranate sterols, which defend against premature aging and antioxidants while increasing moisture. And it also improves the lip smoothness. We have organic plump, naturally plumps lips without irritation and filling lines and increasing moisture. I do notice that like my lips totally look so much smoother with this lip cream. And we have plant peptides, revitalizes fibroblast cells, increases collagen synthesis, and improves appearance of wrinkles and lip smoothness. So again here, this is actually a, a lip treatment. It nourishes lips with clinically proven super plant extracts to revive lips, natural youthful appearance, feeding lips at cellular level. This hydrating cream strengthens and replenishes collagen to increase fullness and firmness while also conditioning and healing the lips. I can say, Yes, it does to all of these claims. It's an amazing product and I highly recommend it. Now, I'm not really much of a lipstick girl. I'm more of a lip gloss girl, but I do love this formula and I um, would love to try more colors. Now, let's talk about the lip color serum. So this is Gospel. It's so pretty. It's like a a warm berry color. I'll actually put it on on top of beet so you can see it. Oops, can't put it on right, right? So it really makes this kind of go just a little bit deeper. Oh, that's kind of pretty, huh? Oh, kind of getting it all over the place here. All right, so this Lip Color Serum is now become my HG Holy Grail of lip glosses. This just feels so good on your lips when you put it on. It is amazing. Now let me read you the description. So Lip Color Serum goes beyond just adding color and hydration to the lips. The plant-based gloss serum gently plumps without irritation, organic plant sterols, vegan collagen, and antioxidants improve lip cell structure and health to diminish fine lines and leave lips full and soft. It contains vegetable collagen, pomegranate sterols, organic plump, and beet extract. So it does contain some of the same ingredients as a lip color cream. Um, the only difference is, is that this contains beet extract, which improves the circulation to promote lip cell de detoxification and plumpness. So that's actually the plumper. And let me tell you, when you wear this alone, it does make your lips look nice and full, but your lips feel really nice and soft after. 
when you take it off, um, it's, uh, it's just like, I'm a loss for words. That's how much I love it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it, 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 it's an, it's an amazing product and, um, it, it feels good on the lips. It, you're treating your lips. Uh, it, it's just awesome. You have to get it. So I have actually a couple of other colors because I had purchased the lip color serum before the Beauty Heroes box came out. And I have been obsessed. So I have Nudie, as you can see right here. That's Nudie, which is kind of like a pretty like mauve color. And I have Bliss, which is kind of like a a peachy kind of nude this which is gonna be like a great color for summer and then I also have go which I love this color I actually wear go to bed to treat my lips at night so nice isn't it this is a really nice pink it doesn't look that pink on me because my lips are really pigmented so it kind of just like looks kind of like a clear color on me all right, so now let's talk about the Vita Active Foundation. I know a lot of you are really curious about this foundation. And it and look, it comes in this really cute packaging as well. This foundation is, oh, you know what? Before I go to that, um, let me tell you this really quick. The reason why this makeup discovery sold out was because it was an insane price. First of all, let me tell you how much these products were. Okay, so Good Lash Mascara is $38, and it's totally worth it in my opinion. The Lip Color Cream is $42, and the Lip Serum is $42. Now, I know it seems, you know, like a, a lot of money for a lip gloss and a lip color cream, but let me tell you, it's totally worth it. They last, at least, you know, the lip serum will stay on, on my lips for at least, you know, like two hours. And what I love about it, it's not sticky as well. Um, and the lip cream, yeah, it, it'll stay on for like two, three hours, and sometimes I have a little stain after I eat, which is great. This box retails for, if you were to buy the products on their own, as you could tell, it's $122. Beauty Heroes had it for $55 if you're a non-member, and if you're a member, you got 15% off, which made it out to be $47. It was a ridiculous deal and it went fast. It was sold out in less than eight hours and they, you could see why. It was a great deal. So anyways, let's get back to the foundation. So Vita Active Foundation. I love this foundation. Um, it is amazing. Um, can I just say like everything Fit Glow is pretty much amazing. So as you can see, it comes in this airless pump. This is actually, um, this is shade VF2, and that's what I'm wearing right now. I can, I also have the shade VF3, which that was the one that I originally purchased, and um, it was just maybe a little bit too golden. I could get away with it, but I needed something a little bit lighter, and um, this is still kind of a little bit light, um, but after I put on the Vita Set Powder, it kind of like blends in really well. I don't see any demarcation, but so let's talk about this foundation. So this foundation, what I love about it is, it's not just foundation, it's it's actually like a skin, it's a skincare treatment as well. And let me read you the description. Vita Active Foundation is more than just a way to perfect skin tone, but healthy in a healthy way. It's clinically proven, with clinically proven superfoods and essential vitamins, the plant-based skin-loving blend of vitamin C, botanical hyaluronic acid, seaweed, brighteners, and beta carotene increases collagen production and dramatically boosts skin's ability to diminish spots, freckles, hyperpigmentation, 
Sun damage plus improves elasticity. Daily use leaves skin clear, smooth, and radiant. Now, this has some awesome ingredients in it. Here are the key ingredients. We have vegan hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, it's a stabilized form, wakame cell bioferment, beta carotene, and aloe vera juice. Now this is an aloe vera juice based product. It also has some titanium dioxide and zinc oxide in it, even though it doesn't say that there's sun protection, but you do get a little bit of sun protection in there. Um, so for those of you who are worried about sun protection, um, you can wear a sunscreen underneath it. I like to wear um, the Redness Rescue Cream underneath this. It's actually really good. It makes a great primer. So I've been using this foundation for about four weeks and um, what I love about it is that when I use it like my skin just looks so good and I get so many compliments on it and um, when I take it off my skin looks great as well so highly recommend this um, for those of you who um, you know who do have you know like I have actually um, oily skin. Well, not oily skin. I have combination skin. Um, I'm really oily in, in my T-zone. And um, I'm kind of like dry on the outside here, especially like right in this area. And um, this foundation is great because it kind of like balances my skin. And I love that it doesn't settle into my, my lines that I have, my smile lines. Um, that's huge for me. Uh, I've had a hard time, you know, finding the right foundation. Um, as I've gotten older, I, I was an avid bare minerals girl forever. I've worn bare minerals for since 1994. And in the last year or so, I've been struggling to find a foundation or a tinted moisturizer that would satisfy me and it, it's been really hard. And I did love, you know, Bare Minerals um, Complexion Rescue, which is great, but you know what? I was having the hardest time figuring out what was clogging my pores. I was like, no way, it's not the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. I've been using it for a while, it can't be that. And I'd have to do extractions on my face or on my skin, like at least every other week because my pores were just filling up with stuff. I thought it was like maybe the oils I was using, maybe the cleanser wasn't cleansing my skin enough, but no, it was the Complexion Rescue. So after I stopped using it and I started using the Fit Glow, I don't have to do extractions that much. I have to do them like maybe once a month because if not, well, especially like right here in my T-zone because I do get oily in there. Um, but with this, not anymore. All right, so now we're gonna talk about the Vitaset powder. Now, if you, just go back to the foundation really quick. If you do have oily skin, you're gonna to wanna to set this with a powder. If you have dry skin, you don't have to set it with the powder. It'll set on its own. Now, the Vitaset powder, I, you know, oh, and the, the foundation, it's, it's $55. And do I think it's worth it? I do. Now with the Vitaset powder, I was intrigued about this. So here's the little container it comes in. Let's talk about this. You can see there's a little poofer. I don't use a puff, I, I use a brush for this. So I was really curious about this because, you know, like, did I really want to spend $69 on a finishing powder? But what made me do it was that Canadian Glacier Clay. I was very intrigued by it. I've heard so many good things about it, like how nutrient it is for your skin. So I did it. Now, this powder has a few ingredients in it. It has sericite calcium carbonate, Kaolin clay, silica, zinc oxide, glacial marine 
clay, which that's the Canadian glacier, glacier marine clay, myonisamide, iron oxides, and ultramarines. Now, this delivers antioxidant production via the pure glacial marine clays, and it soothes, it soothes the skin, it balances the pH, and it does maintain your finish and your color. It gives you like that airbrush look. Also, it has the nyanisamide in it, which is, um, it's vitamin B3, and it helps uh, with protecting the skin from free radical damage. I love it. It's great. I recommend it. If you're looking for a finishing powder, definitely. Um, it does kind of, it says translucent, but it does have a slight um, tint to it. Um, so in case you were wondering. <laughs> All right, so now let's talk about Fit Glow's Mineral Eye Trios. Mineral eye trios. Today I'm wearing my favorite, which is Sun Glow. Isn't it so pretty? This is Sun Glow. So we have like a like a satin cream shade, a satin taupe, and then we have like a, a satin bronze color. Now I have this one up underneath my brow bone here. Sorry, I didn't do my brows today. It's Sunday. I don't usually wear makeup on Sundays. I kind of like to let my skin breathe, but since I was recording, um, had to wear makeup today. <laughs> so anyways, so we have um, this taupey color, which I did all over the lid and up into my crease. And then I s sort of kind of lined my upper lash line with the bronzy color. And I put a little bit underneath my eye there. I love these, they're great. Um, if you're makeup challenge, they're awesome because you don't have to use that much. They're highly pigmented. They're also very soft and blendable. Really nice um, eyeshadow. I think it's got like five ingredients in it. Um, how funny, the, the blush and the mineral eye trios, they have the same ingredients. Um, so we have mica, iron oxides, calcium carbonate, Capriclic, I can't say this word. Caprylic triglycerides, jojoba seed oil, ultramarines, titanium dioxide, and everything is certified organic. That's one thing if you guys didn't know about um, Fit Glow Beauty, which I'm sure most of you do, is most of their products um, are zero on the Think Dirty app. And then they're also vegan and cruelty free. Now, I today I'm wearing um, for my blush, I have Beach, which is a really pretty color. It's kind of like bronzy, sort of, with a little, like it kind of has like a little hint of um, or kind of like an orangey bronze color. It's really pretty. You can use this as a contour, pow contour powder too, if you, if you like. But I like it as a blush. And then I have on Rosé, which you could use this as a cheek color. Um, it's also really pretty as a highlighter, which I have it like right here. You can see it right here. It's called Rosé, but it's kind of like a, I don't know if you can, you can't really see it. It's it's kind of like a champagne highlight color. And then I also did a little contouring around my face with Sculpt. Now this is, um, this is actually could be a dupe if you're um, a Benefit fan, this is could be a dupe for the Hoola, except for this is maybe just slightly a little bit darker, but I have it right here in my cheeks. So I really love um, Fit Glow's eyeshadows and, well, actually I should say mineral eye trios and their blush colors. They're all really pretty. I have, um, a couple of other blush colors that are really nice. Um, there is, 
Uh, my favorite actually is um, Beach Glow. Oh my God, Beach Glow is beautiful. I cannot wait to wear that when I get a little bit more color in my skin. Uh, it will give you like this really pretty bronzy look. And then um, I have Fresh, which is really pretty. It's kind of like a peachy pink color. And I have Pure. Pure is kind of more of like a muted pink. I guess kind of like a, maybe a darker pink. If you guys are interested, I, I can create more, um, I can create another look with, with using the Fit Glow Beauty uh, color products. If you're interested, just let me know below. Um, so this video is now 25 minutes and I am I could keep rambling about these products, but if you guys wanna know more information, just you know let me know in the comments. Um, I'm also on Instagram, I'm Aloha Jen. 77 i'll put that down below in the comments and um i'll also put down in the comments um what makeup i'm wearing today in case you guys are interested and um soon i'm actually going to do another review on fit glow beauty's uh, skincare because i have been testing that out as well and there will be more stuff to come so if you guys like this video please subscribe and like take care mahalo